So Apex Legends has added the first ever melee weapon in the game and it's for the mobile version for the exclusive Legend Fade. What's going on guys? My name's Roast. Welcome back to another video. So this is what it actually looks like in game. Right now, it's not available until Season 3 officially drops properly on the 19th of October. But my good friend Dusty YouTube had a glitch where he could basically see it in game right now. So thank you to him for providing me with this info. Basically, Fade's heirloom isn't actually called an heirloom. It's called a signature weapon and it has two deadly forms one being the claw and two being the blade here's some shots of what it actually looks like in game but one thing we are kind of confused about is will it actually be a melee weapon where you can damage enemies with it or will it be the same as you know a normal heirloom where they are just something nice to look at without having your weapons out so this is what makes me think it's a melee weapon as it has a basic form which goes from level one to three and then an advanced form which goes from level four to six now this could mean that you know the more you level up the more textures and visual effects that you can put on it which is probably the right answer but I checked on how to level it up and it looks pretty hard now there's two types of resources at the top right of the screen the silver one is called the signature merits and the gold one is called the signature tributes it says to earn signature merits you need to complete daily missions and open activity chests and you can also get them from the battle pass tiers too then you can obtain the gold signature tributes from the store vault which you will have to pay money for so going back to the levels in short you can earn three merits to level up the weapon from level one to three and then anything from level four to five you're going to need to get your cash out i think you basically get the signature weapon first for free and then what you have to do is do missions to level it up and unlock more textures and colors on it. So at the bottom right, it shows how many merits and tributes you need to purchase, which looks like a lot. 400 merits for missions. There's definitely going to be a lot of missions and a lot of merits to earn. Otherwise, that's going to take a long time. So this is what the level one basic claw weapon looks like. It's pretty standard. It has a sort of metallic effect on it. Next is a level two upgraded one, which looks really cool. It has a really cool blue and purple effect on it. And then level three is the upgraded one, which looks almost the same as level two but it's got a sort of extra blue glow on the ends of the claws but wait there's more you can also unlock textures on each level so you can add cool electrified textures like this and then you can also add this insane galactic texture which makes the claw look like it's literally on fire i love how they're doing this it's make, giving us a free way to earn and actually add skins onto a weapon which is insane because we know the mobile version they usually charge for absolutely everything so i think that's good now next up is the blade now when you unlock fade's signature weapon i don't know if you automatically get the blade and the claw for free it would be really cool to get both and then when you're in each game it would be amazing to switch between the claw and the blade but you probably get to pick either the claw or the blade before the match i think since the claw is level one and the blade is level four you probably get the claw first and then you pay or grind to unlock the blade at level four but anyway here's the blade it has the exact same leveling system as the claw which is the default one it has the same metallic effect as the claw the level four texture is a really cool looking lime green one and this is what fade looks like holding the blade and sort of spinning it around which looks sick i love it the level five blade has this insane kind of sort of lifeline effect on it which i love and then the texture is this really cool white and purple one and then lastly we have the level five one which is this insane dimensional effect which in my opinion looks the best obviously it's going to be the best the highest level one and that's all the colors and textures but you can also unlock extra banners frames emotes and even more cool things like this cool finisher where fade you know pulls out his sword and spins it through the enemy which looks insane and then also lastly you can also get some really cool skydiver motes as well where it looks like phase sort of spinning it around whilst he's going down into the map so all in all guys this looks incredible it's pretty crazy that we're getting you know these exclusive things for the mobile version it's kind of unfair for the apex pc and console version but we know that obviously the mobile team is a separate dev team so they're going to bring us different stuff but hey you never know it might come to the pc and console version now there's also a really sick fade and loba trailer which is what i'm going to show you guys now it's building a bit of lore between the characters which i love and it shows exactly how fade gets his signature weapon as well so if you enjoyed the video guys thank you again for the support make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and tell me what you think about these signature weapons. I said seven. You're new to this, aren't you? If you want an expert opinion, you work on expert time. So, you want to get into an armory where you aren't on the guest list, hmm? The constellation belongs to my family. Someone stole the fourth blade off my brother's body and sold it to Marlo's depot. That's high security. 
You're sure your family would want you risking your neck like that? Please, Miss Andrade. There's a side entrance here. Lightly used, lightly guarded. I'd incapacitate the first guard before he sounds the alarm. I'd turn left and slip through the defenses here. I have a jump drive, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Then I'd wait for the patrol to change, sneak in before the vault closes, and claim my prize. Simple as that. Of course, things don't always go according to plan. But I'm sure you know how to improvise. So, what do I owe you? Consider this a free consultation. It's always nice to meet talented people. And of course, I understand the things we do for family. 